Right, I'm near off on a short hike, uh, but this is generally a test on my sugar levels and stuff like that. So I'm roughly working it out to a hypo every two miles. So basically it's lowering my bloods and low fours into the freeze. So test number one today is actually using uh, eating bananas only with no apart from emergency glucose tablets and drink I've just got bananas and water so consider more made of bananas and they're not my favourite food either so that sucks so yeah just basically just to test different things see what's going to work and see what's not bloody motorhomes parked on the side of the road <laughs> What a shame, you know, I mean, a, a badger, this is the first time I've actually seen a badger in Scotland and usually they're dead. You know, stay in a lane with no one driving here, what, what they can't avoid it, unless it's just ran out in front of someone. But, uh, uh, such a shame that. That's the only time I see badgers is when they're dead. What a bloody country. Half a mile, okay. Start the hills now, so just my fitness isn't there, which doesn't take long to come back up. First part of the banana coming up in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tear a banana field round with me, banana crop, whatever they call them out there. <laughs> Stop in a minute on this bit here. Where... <laughs> that it? Test and see if I can control the sugar levels. That's all. Oh, I haven't got the tester with me. I haven't got the sugar level tester with me. Because I don't need it, I'm going by feeling in my body, which I've done done all my life anyway. So yeah. <coughs> What's up, your flea bags? <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, it's always the. It is. <laughs> always the little ones. <laughs> right, so that's one of the main hills done. Good power in the legs, really good power in the legs. <clears throat> Not an issue whatsoever really. Breathing's quite relaxed. And uh, the problem is, doing that, so I'm using more power, it should be lowering the sugar levels. So, nearly done the mile. <laughs> Another bit of the banana. Oh dear. I thought I'd just show you along here how pretty this is with these real wild flowers. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> Look at that, full, full of dandelions. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, real nature. No artificial flowers. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna actually walk past my toilet. I've been in there every single time I've been in there. I've been coming past. I'm roughly at the one and a half mile point. You've seen my favourite pond before. It's got not many uh it's got not many dragonflies in there today. So far it's going very well, there's no power loss in the legs, I'm not feeling dizzy. I'm not feeling a loss of connection in the legs, like often happens. And uh, so yeah, this is 
last of the banana the first banana and then the second bit is this uphill here it's all uphill from here then there's uphill and it gets a bit steep again up the top here and uh, that's roughly in another about 400 yards past that is when the issues start to arise it, still going spot on here which is pretty damn good considering I haven't been up here well this is what ended it all really come up here and uh, I'm surprised I'm putting the amount of fitness levels out of what I was when I was doing exercising so there's something slightly amiss nearly up the top anyway two mile point by about a few feet that's one of the big hills done pretty damn easy actually but what I'm doing because I haven't had, I haven't been exercising for over two months and uh, so going up the hill I'm using my legs at 80% power so I'm backing 20% off which stops me from blowing up stops me from blowing my legs up as well so start the next banana apple number two pear even banana <laughs> <laughs> right so I was only meant to be going up that hill there so what I've decided to do is I might as well push myself today so along here nine times out of ten I will start to show a sign of a blood sugar problem a drop in performance and a disconnection of my legs so I'll put that down to over there I've just climbed a quite a high hill and then going down the hill allows the legs to relax again so going up the hill would have lowered the blood sugar levels anyway because you, 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 you're demanding more energy so then the body coming along here which is flat allows the body then to go back down calm but probably the sugar levels haven't actually come back up properly uh, so now from this bit of corner here just here so up there is uphill now what happens normally is I have the start of what I call a early hypo sign which is a disconnection from the legs and this slight bit of burning here it's not doing it at the moment and remember I haven't been round here for two and a half months and it's easy at the moment it's easy yeah I'm getting fatigue because I haven't been walking and exercising like this is this is ridiculous I've been as fit as hell and yet I've not been able to do this so it improves uh, like I said your body relies on energy <clears throat> more there, bit more there. no issues with power yet I'm normally starting to struggle by an air up here no matter how bloody fit I am I'm doing it like I've been doing it for donkeys years. is it food what's been playing me up all this time so coming up here was basically the start of all my issues two months ago Some slight lactic acid build up. That's because I'm unfit. More than anything else. Which is going to be normal because I'm recording a lot of power to come up here. I'm going over. Just going over what the legs don't really like doing at the moment. nearly halfway round no issues still got full connection to the legs and uh, no problems with the stomach yet so that's halfway round roughly
no problems with uh, leg energy yet. A little bit stiff in the knees, but I'll, I have suffered from that for a long time anyway. Uh, no disconnection, a little bit of dizziness because I've, I've not been hiking for a while. Next test is the drink, just plain water. So drinking some drinks sometimes just does trigger the head pose off when I'm hiking. That burning sensation, which then results in a hypo. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so far, so good. About four and a half miles in, still going absolutely fine. Apart from the only problem I'm having is I'm slightly dizzy. I'm head spinning around because I actually haven't been, like I said, I haven't been hiking for two, about two and a half months, and it's new to me again. And the blood is flowing, this making me feel a little bit. <clears throat> So, apart from the dizziness, I've got no disconnection from the legs yet. Legs are still operational fully, actually. So starting to run a little bit low on energy now, normally this is uh, lack of fitness and uh, uh, distance training. Last big hill coming up here, which is a bit of a brute, it's not very long but that's a funny old thing though. So that's quite a steep hill this. Slight, slight reduction in energy levels, normal, and I'm still doing it. 95% better than before. No problem still. Apart from still a bit of dizziness. As I said, that will go. Shocked how easy this is. Not used to this. I'm not used to this. I'm used to Elvis. My back's gone. Turn into a zombie. I weren't expecting this for at least two weeks. This distance. I'm putting it down to a combination of things, a change in food, which is more nutritious. This is hard work, this type of thing. It's not easy, you know. So your body needs good nutrition to do it. I've cut down loads of carbs, which I think I'm having an issue with carbs by the idea I'm getting from it. Right, so a mile and a half to go roughly and back round to my favourite little pond. No energy problems. I'm just having my usual issue of a stiff back, which I've had, but I have got arthritis, so I'm going to get that. I'm 52. 52 and been smashed to pieces in accidents. Other than that, got a decent flex still. Bit stiff on that side. Hopefully, by losing weight, that take the stress off them, uh, off them back muscles. But as I said, if I've got stomach issues, that's also affecting my back. But you're gonna, you're gonna get fatigue 
if you've not walked before, like I said, I haven't walked for two over two months, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have fitness issues. That's not an issue actually. It's well odd. Uh, I was expecting to be actually stoned out of my head by now. Uh, the problem is, it's taken six bananas to do this. <laughs> Bongo man from the Congo. What are those bananas? Break some over when you come, guys, in your rubber dinghies. I won't pay you. <laughs> well, I've got to say, that is a, a, a very unusual one. So I'm back on the road. I've never, ever in a million years been laying in. On the settee in the bed in the motorhome for over two months. Doctor saying don't go out, don't do this, don't do that because of the hypos, can't control them. And I can't remember when I last did a walk, did a hike. And I've not had a hypo. And I've not had a, a disconnection of the legs or anything like that. Now, is it a one off? I do not know. So, I'm back. Was never expecting a seven miler after two months out of bloody hell, I should be dead really after what's been happening. Uh, by the time I go to hospital, I'll have long f uh, fix myself, I think. <laughs> So now what I do now is right, I feel okay, I feel stiff, I'm going to be stiff, I haven't walked for ages. Uh, like I said, I've been out with problems and uh, I'm not going to eat nothing for two hours but I can eat protein which helps rebuild the muscles but I don't need, I don't need carbs which just helps the fat burning process which is pretty damn cool. 